Yes, love. Anything interesting? Uh, no, not really. Yes, there is. Looks like it's from the town hall. <laughs> they must want us to go along to the next delegate conference. £16.15 for rates? That seems a lot. Come on, get your hat and coat on. We're going down there to find out what it's all about. £15 for rates. I never paid as much as that last year. When Mr. Barrow came to see me, he was not at all happy, and it didn't take me very long to realise that he was, to say the least, displeased with the rate demand he had just received. He seemed to think that all the council ever does for his money is to empty his dustbin every week. I assured him that they'd do rather more than that, and asked him to sit down and relax and give me a chance to explain some of the services he gets for his money. There is the installation and maintenance of street lighting, cleaning and replacement of lamps, and ensuring the time switching mechanism is functioning correctly. is electrical, using mercury vapour, as here, or sodium discharge for the more major roads, with filament lamps on minor roads. Collection of refuse is made weekly, and the council employs some 60 men to serve the area, this being done with the highest possible efficiency. After collection, the rubbish is disposed of by controlled tipping using bulldozer tractors. Land used for tipping is normally infertile wasteland and will eventually be reclaimed as parkland or golf courses after about three years. After each day's tipping, the area is covered with soil to prevent insect breeding and minimize unpleasant smells. And I'm sure, Mr. Barrow, that you and your wife must have spent some time in one of your local parks. You will have seen how pleasant these surroundings are, but they are not obtained without a lot of hard work and skill. Hayes has over 480 acres of parks and open spaces to maintain, including playgrounds, putting greens and the sports stadium. Facilities for football, cricket, athletics, etc. are all available. There are also approximately 90 acres of land which the council provides for allotments purposes. Propagation of many young plants begins in the frames and greenhouses of the council prior to transplanting in the various areas.
This may look like a lot of rubbish, but it is sold for eight pounds a ton, thereby helping to reduce the general rate. There is a separate collection of waste paper and it is baled and transported to make hardboards and other fibre boards. An average of 65 tonnes of salvageable material is collected monthly. Broken toys such as these could be the result of over-enthusiastic play, but after repair in the council's workshops are soon restored to their former usefulness. We have a fleet of 20 refuse and salvage freighters, two mechanical road sweepers and several other vehicles, all of which have to be kept in first-class order. All facets of maintenance are undertaken here, from electrical replacements and checks to major engine overhauls. Refuse freighters have a working life of 10 years. They are then replaced, but it is not always realized how much this type of equipment costs. Vehicles, particularly a refuse freighter, can cost as much as 4,000 pounds. sweeper such as this would cost in the region of £3,300. The brushes are only good for 100 miles, which is equal to one week's work. They have to be continually replaced. Highway improvement schemes are nearly always in evidence around the district. Schemes such as road widening, footpath modification and upkeep, Improvements to surface water and main drainage systems. These are under constant consideration as newer, more modern methods are discovered. I'll get the inspector right away. And that's another instance where a factory on the canal is having trouble with rats. When a call comes in like this, the rodent operative visits, even if there is only a suspicion of rats. The bait he uses is harmless to domestic animals. Under the supervision of a public health inspector, he is also required to destroy cockroaches, fleas, bugs or other insect pests by spraying with various insecticides. The public health inspectors will always give advice on the treatment of insect pests. One of the principal duties of the public health inspector is to ensure that a high standard of cleanliness is observed and that your food supply is safe to eat. In this case, the inspector is looking for any abnormal conditions in the meat. In 1961, over 1,600 inspections were made of food handling premises, 
and 50 tons of unsound food, including frozen food, meat, fish, milk, fruit and vegetables, were surrendered to the inspectors. Samples of all types of food and of drinking water are regularly subjected to bacteriological examination. Every endeavour is maintained to safeguard the health of you and your children. The water used in swimming pools, such as this one at Grange Park School, is examined regularly. The Civic Restaurant serves about 300 to 400 meals a day and usually has a wide variety of reasonably priced dishes to choose from. The hall is also used at weekends for private functions such as weddings and parties. Well, we'd like to be getting along now. I'm already very late for work. Thanks for explaining things so well. Goodbye, Mr. Barrow. Goodbye, Mrs. Barrow. Goodbye. to mention many of the important things such as education which absorbs by far the largest part of the general rate. We have 29 schools in their grounds to staff, equip and maintain and these cater for approximately 11,600 children. With a population of nearly 70,000 New estates, such as this one at Frogmore, need to be well planned. This is undertaken by our own and consultant architects and surveyors. Over 5,000 properties are owned by the council and about another 200 are under construction at the present time. I might also have mentioned such things as building inspection and control, public libraries, entertainments, slum clearance, burial grounds, crematoria, old people's welfare, the school medical service, the health and welfare services generally, and a host of other services which are provided for you, the townspeople, residents and ratepayers of Hayes and Harlington. These services are under constant modification to give you the most modern and up-to-date amenities available. It is our aim to live up to our town's motto. Forward. <laughs>